Hi there, it's been a while since I talked about Bitwig API update and uh, yeah, since then quite some stuff happened and we are now up to version 14 and the last video I did was API version 12. So let's look into 13 and 14. To use version 14, you need to have the new Bitwig version 4, which introduced this API version. But first let's have a look at version 13, which was introduced in the last numbers of the three version of Bitwig. It only contains two methods. So one little pretty handy one is you can create now an empty scene. Before that you could only create a new scene from playing clips but now we can also create an empty one. This one might be interesting if you have additional support files for example like a template for the controller you want to support. You can now wrap these resources into your jar file so you need to program Java for that and you can add this to this extension jar file and then Bitwig will extract these folders and will be show them to the user. So that sounds quite complicated but it's actually pretty simple. Let's show you that. So if you open up Bitwig, this feature for example is supported now in the new native instrument supports for Machina and also for the K-series. I think they use that features. If you implemented that method you will get such a folder icon and if you click it it will open up a browser which which shows you these support files for the device. I think there's a little bit of an issue with that because as you see it's extracted in a temporary folder somewhere deep in the system. So if you need a tool to upload this template like you need to do also here with the machine template and this tool doesn't support to copy and paste a folder which I think is also the case with that one then it might be a little bit difficult for the user to navigate down this rabbit hole till you find the right file. And also if you need to integrate files for example like a manual which a user needs to read up front to get an understanding how to install the files then this has also been an issue because you get then an hand and egg problem but nevertheless it might come in handy for some support files you would like to provide. What else do we have here? Yeah, you can find now easier the support files for development. So if you go to the help and there is documentation section now, which is now separate. Before that, you had to scroll down a long list of files till you found developer. But now it's very prominently here that you can create a new project and also get here the API reference. And if you click that, you will see also the layout has now changed. So they use now the default Java doc layout, which you get, which I think has a little bit more features you get some more options here to navigate so much for version 13 and what's new here moving on to version 14 which is now as i said in bitwig 4 introduced and also bitwig 4 has another new thing because it uses now the java jdk version 16 so the latest and greatest version of java which also means you can update your programming environment if you develop with java to version 16 and can also use all the new features that the versions since 12 brings now you can also use them now with bitwig before that it was version number 12 you can also also still keep on programming in older versions which also will work fine but I think it makes sense to update to version 16 so you can use all the features which were introduced into the language since then. So what's new in API 14? Let's scroll through that. You will see it's somehow all about zooming. Also that's related to zooming, zoom, 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 zoom. That's, that's something different and then we have more zooming. So what is all this zooming about? It basically allows you to zoom in all the windows of Bitwig which is really great because before that you could only trigger an action and the action had that problem that you need to have the focus in that window to make it zoom but now with all those uh, functions you can be sure that if you call a zoom function on the arranger it would always zoom that arranger no matter where the user actually has the focus currently in Bitwig and that's really cool to have. I think I don't need to explain all these methods they are pretty clear from the name there are some methods where you can also get access to the editor windows which the user has opened and then you can also use the same methods provided here of them to zoom the height and also zoom the width of the window. Also with the mixer you can change the track width, height and all these things. Lots of methods but they do pretty basically all the same. So then we this takes a little bit longer to explain what else do we have some nice little method here some streamlining with monitoring before that you had 
two properties. You had one for the normal monitoring and one for the auto monitor. And this is now combined in one method. So this monitor mode will have now currently three states, which is no monitoring, normal monitoring and auto monitoring. If you see there's a settable and num value, which is, I think, not defined anywhere. So basically check out the values which you get and then you will see what you can enter into the method to set the values as well. Moving on to the longest one, which is all this node step. So what is node step about? This is for monitoring the sequencer, which is already built in the API. Let's move to see that better here. So the clip or normally used a cursor clip, which I already explained in tutorial. This got now for a while this new method that you can register such a node step changed callback and then if a node in the sequence changes the user change something you will get this notification call and this will give you node steps. This already had in a previous version so lots of lots of methods and now they added in Bitwig for all the goodness for the, the new operators functions and they also added some older missing ones for example like muting a node was not there but this is now also available so these are the methods you can call here to get the actual values of them if they have changed you also have setter methods to change the values that's a little bit different than as you normally work with bitwig normally you have also a property which combines all those methods so the getter as well as a setter in one but this is here different and you should also be aware if you call that multiple times to not get a feedback loop because then you will get a notification straight away that it is changed and then you might have jumping around of your values if you turn a knob so what i had to do was also to develop some delay in there or if the user touches a knob not to update the incoming values until the user stopped so you need to be aware of that and maybe implement some tricks to make it work but nevertheless very very powerful so you can now access all these parameters here in this area all the options of a node and can be controlled now from your controller i think yeah that's already i forgot one of the methods so here you also can trigger a fill mode which is i think very interesting so if you programmed here in that area that some nodes only are active here if you enable that fill is on which is that button up here. So this button can then also trigger it from your controller, which I think is great for improvising and live performance. So lots of new features in API 14, which I think you can put into good use if you develop something cool for a controller. And I hope you dig it and write some funky code.